I'm gonna take my mower on down the road. I'm gonna mow until I can't no more. I got my trimmers in the back, blowers on the racks, trailers painted black with the sickest rims and mats. See, now you can use your skag. I'ma use my gravely. Pick any mower that you want is all I'm really saying. And can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm leaving stripes like something. is a movie i'm mowing grass so truly i try to stripe your lawn but your puppy's leaving too oh can't yeah. nobody tell me nothing i'm leaving stripes like something can't nobody tell me nothing i'm leaving stripes like something well i'm gonna take my mower on down the road i'm gonna mow until i can't no more i'm gonna take my mower on town living like a rock star people spending money just to watch me mow yard see you in your craftsman though i know it will not go far painting all my mowers like a maserati sports car yeah. cutting clean here when i'm back on the mic yeah. i believe leaving them stripes so they shine every night yo i know you really want it if you want to come and get it you can stop and hit subscribe or you can even pop a like because i know you think you're good but if you really think you're great yeah. if you really want to battle you can stop and just debate like yeah. all the things you'll ever say because i'll be all up in your face yeah. and i can do it every day with hands full of these grenades so be careful with your mower even with your blower there's people out there looking just to steal then it's over you better keep it on a tight watch hey everyone thank you for volunteering to help uh, with the mowing at colonial hills i wanted to give you a quick overview of the skag mower and some of the other equipment we're using out there uh, as you can see i just went through the gas uh, settings you have two tanks and they don't cross over so you'll need to set it there's your key switch turn it on and start uh, the control panel shows the status um, all four lights need to be on to start. They, the four end uh, lights tell you which switch is not in the right condition for starting. That was the blade, uh, the mower deck to engage the mower deck. It has to be disengaged to start. That's the parking brake light. It's on the left foot switch and a lever down by your left hip. Uh, you have to be seated, <clears throat> of course, and <clears throat> and to engage the parking brake, you do have to use the lever <clears throat> to lock it in the locked in the parked position. See the light comes back on. We're ready to start again. Uh, the hydraulic control and steering handles have to be in the neutral position which is both of them swung outside to start <clears throat> when you do want to go forward you have to disengage the parking brake first you'll see that later and then you can bring the handles in to the drive position there here is the uh, deck height adjustment if you look underneath the holes there's a little shiny goldish piece of steel you'll see that move forward that's in the full upright position. It automatically latches up, which can be a problem when you hit the bumps. We might check that out later. Um, <clears throat> to raise the pin, you lock it up, or to adjust the height, you move the pin, lock the deck in the up position, move your pin where you want it, then lower the deck back onto the pin. You can see the gold again down in through the holes. That means it's dropped down to your desired height. If you don't see that gold in there then it's all the way up and you're going to get a really crummy looking cut. So looks like we're ready to start. Um, this is a cold start. Choke it. Give it, I don't know, half throttle. That's not quite half, but probably better. There you have it. Oops, turn off the choke so it doesn't die. A little more gas. We're good to go. Move forward, you do have to release the parking brake, bring in the uh, hydraulic control drive handles. 
Parking brake releases automatically when you push the lever. You have to use the lever to lock it in park. Okay, we have the, the discharge chute blocker. It's activated by that foot switch on your left foot. Love that thing. When we're going up to the shrub zones or out along the street or the driveway, uh, try to block as much as you can from going out there. It'll make cleanup a lot easier. Um, that one's a little chewed up. I eventually will install a new flap over it. Um, I moved that to three and three quarters inches. I think for today I moved. I decided to go back to three and a half inches. <clears throat> I think I prefer three and three quarters overall, but whatever. Just don't cut it too short, or we'll be we'll be burning it up in the middle of the summer. So the discharge chute blocker is in the upright position now. Oops, I did forget to show you another feature. Take a time out here. Um, you can adjust the seat to your weight. It's an air ride seat, and uh, you can adjust it. It was it's been sitting at about a 190 for a while. Nobody seems to be adjusting it, and it's probably good for most of us. Of course, I just ran it down to my weight. Um, nah. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, so I pulled up the, uh, you know, engaged the deck to start cutting. Here we go. You might see a pretty good bump here, and you look down down at that deck height adjustment gold bar here in a minute. You'll when you, when you take a big bump, you're going to want to look down and make sure that the deck did not bounce into the highest position because you can go a few stripes before you realize that you really aren't mowing and then you get to do it all over again. So here's a big bump coming. Wait for it. Oh, that hurts. Oh, and look down, check. Can you see the gold bars? There it is. <clears throat> in a minute here we're going to come up to the shrub zone up by the north north of the driveway I don't like to go over that but I know the height I've been over that enough now that I knew we, I would clear that concrete they just tore up our sidewalk so I'm going to avoid the uh, dirt let's come around the corner look down to your right and watch the discharge shoe blocker in my foot And you can feather it halfway. I do that a lot because um, I don't like to clump it up, but I don't want it to to travel the grass clippings to travel very far. So if you're a, a stripe or two away from the driveway, you can knock them down without totally blocking them up on the, the, the clippings up under the deck. So be careful when you flip it up that you're not going past the uh, street sign or something that's going to tear it apart. It's easy to do. Another thing I didn't mention, uh, I'll show you later, is um, the roll cage. These trees up here um, in this corner where the memorial plaques are, and a couple of trees in the front yard, one around by the fire pit, can buck you off the mower. If you go through there too fast with that roll cage up, um, it can throw the mower back and, and really give you a pleasant surprise. Um, I used to always mow with it down, but it rattles a little bit. And notice, uh, I like to do two stripes blowing the clippings away from driveways and the street. If I can, the street you can't because it's on the sidewalk then. But I like to go the same direction a couple times here, and when I come back, I'll use that, I'll feather that discharge chute blocker to a, you know, about halfway, and it'll knock the clippings down, but it still lets them escape the deck. You can just kind of hold that with your foot. It, it hangs in there pretty easily. They're still dispersing clippings, but it's not not too bad. I mean, it's not hitting the driveway. So, and then I got the mower, the blower out for you. Real quick overview. There's the choke. It's hiding really hard to find between those two sections of the blower. The bulb is underneath. Give that two or three pumps until you feel it firm up with some fuel. This is a four stroke, so you need to let it warm up for a few seconds before you take off at full throttle. Um, turn on the power switch, and you can use that lever to lock the throttle in it at quarter speed or something like that. Give it a pull, pull, and then 
I heard a little sputter, so I'm turning off the choke. And uh, nice pull, but hey, there you go. It's a nice, powerful little blower. So when I'm done, I like to blow the, the grass out of the mower too, so it doesn't build up. There, there's, it collects a bit under the seat. Ooh, there's a nice surprise. Oh, that's the hydraulic pumps. <clears throat> like to keep those cool. There's a, there's a lever below the seat back there that I lifted if you didn't notice it. And then the deck <clears throat> the deck comes up easily and there's a couple places under the, the pulleys, those that black cover, the grass tends to build up under those pretty heavily too and I like to blow the grass out of that. We'll see that a little better in a minute. When you lift the deck, the foot rest, uh, be careful not to kink and tear up the cable that for the discharge chute blocker. Just lift it, it'll lock in place. <clears throat> Getting up under those black covers, put two sides. And then to lower the deck, you kind of have to lift it up a bit. Not, not just raise it higher, but lift. It drops into a slot, so you'll have to lift, take the weight of the deck a little bit with. Be careful again with the cable. And that's about it. <clears throat> yeah, weed whacker, uh, choke it a little bit, two or three pumps. This is a, love this weed whacker it usually starts easy you give it full throttle on start turn the switches backwards logically for me but full throttle and put in this you know pull both levers if you hear it sputter at all then take off the choke this one doesn't need much choke and bang starts easy thanks again for helping we'll catch you later oh forgot to mention bump bump the head to uh, extend the line when you run out of line.